Okay, now what's up, gang? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy V Dollar back in today's video. Now, we are going to be talking about small accounts and how you can actually make money on small trading accounts okay now i'm going to show you some of the proof on how i actually do this and definitely by the end of this video you guys will actually know the real concept behind making money on small accounts because most traders actually get mistaken and you never know the real concept behind trading on small accounts and really making big money okay so if you guys like the video please consider smashing the like button and please make sure you subscribe and let's slide into the video all right now you guys remember the previous video that i actually posted i told you that i was going to do a 100 dollars account challenge and guess what i've made about 40 dollars as per now though i caught up a couple of losses like how you guys can see in here but i am still making money now i'm going to first share how you guys actually get this thing wrongly making money on a small account and then trying to grow a small account because personally i've done this for a long time you know i started off with small accounts tried growing these accounts made some money blew all that until i caught up the real concept of doing this okay now first things first now most of you guys are always in this thing of i'm trying to grow my small account you know let's say you're trading on now uh, okay let's say 100 dollars or 150 and now your goal is growing your small account up to let's say a thousand dollars right now this is the biggest mistake most traders sort of try to grow the account by let's say making profits and letting the profits keep in the trading account like the whole concept is trying to letting my money keep in and keep the account accumulating right and i'm going to share the downside of this okay now let me show the ideas on how you can really grow these small accounts now first things first due to the fact that the capital is really so so small you have two options you have an option of going aggressive and then you have an um you have an option of really going slow but sure right now aggressive sometimes works sometimes doesn't because let's say i'm trading on a uh, hundred dollars and i'm deciding to go aggressive i can decide to open a bigger lot sizes of let's say 0 0.05 0 0.01 okay all summing up to let's say 0 0.1 lot size and then deciding to catch such a move right now the, the downside is if i blow i'll blow at once right but but if my trade is actually accurate guess what i can even double up the account in one day now that's the aggressive type of trading now that can really be done if you are really really willing to lose all your capital or maybe you know you're fine with it because i can do this let's say with a hundred dollars because i'm really fine with losing hundred dollars i can do this maybe with uh 200 or 50 whatever right so you can only do this on some capital that you are really willing to trade and play off with because it's sort of gambling and it's really not so so good and then on the other hand we have this type of slow but sure now slow but sure really takes time but it's really consistent i'm sure you got a hundred dollars i'm making let's say three dollars five dollars you know whatever but uh slowly right because today if i make five dollars and the next day i make five dollars and a hundred dollars you know really makes a lot of sense because it's money that's about five percent already you've made five percent in a day now if you're trading on a bigger account and five percent that's big big money because at the end of the day in trading we are looking at a 10 percent returns you know monthly right so that really makes sense so those are the two ideas you are either going aggressive or you are going slow but sure now the idea of trying to let your money keep in the trading account really doesn't work now let me tell you the real concept of making money on a small account you should grow your bank account don't grow the trading account now an instance we are trading on 500 dollars you make 100 dollars or 50 right get up to let's say 70 percent of your profit deposit that into your banking uh into your bank and then let the rest to keep in your trading account in the names of growing your account okay because this really works it doesn't make any sense when you make money and you let your money keep in your trading uh your trading account no way the concept of trying to let your money stick in your uh, trading account doesn't work at, at any times because here's what works if you keep stacking your money in your bank account 
daily 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 at the end of the month you are going to find out that your bank account has really grown and increased now at that point you could be in position two now come in big right remember the bigger the capital the bigger the returns you guys understand the concept right now at that point if you if your bank account has really grown now you can decide that okay let me get two thousand dollars right let me get uh, three thousand dollars off this and then go in whole into my account right now at that point you are now in position to make re uh, relatively bigger bigger profits as compared to your small trading account but on the other hand when you keep leaving your capital or when you actually leave the profits that you made in your trading account is what happens you're going to make money today tomorrow lose the money right make the money today lose the money tomorrow and you're going to find out it's sort of a trap okay boom 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 now here's a concept let's say uh let's get an example that you're trading on 500 dollars and you make a hundred dollars right get the hundred dollars out take it to your bank account grow your bank account let your trading account come back to zero right same thing tomorrow let's say you lose 50 dollars that's okay again don't take the, the 50 from your bank account to compensate for your trading account no 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 now the whole thing is try now to look at getting back your trading account to 500 dollars or more okay that's going to force you like to figure out the right uh setups you know you ain't going to panic because at the end of the day if you panic you could possibly blow up your account because you're going big you know so whole thing is when you make a loss again you don't have to touch your bank account trying to fund this there's a mistake that i used to do you know i've gotten a margin call and then what i do is i get money from my trading uh from my bank account and fund my trading account it's crazy i've gotten a margin call i was literally blowing and now i am topping in more money guess what that doesn't make sense you know in the first place why did i have to open up bigger positions that would cause a margin call you know it really doesn't make sense at any point so don't do these mistakes of maybe getting money from your bank account trying to uh find your account when you are at a margin call no way like in the first place why don't you have to use smaller lot sizes to avoid all these stupid mistakes right so it really makes a lot of sense and that's how this basically works so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you soon you can join our telegram uh you can join our telegram community the link is in the description below and um out